With updates in Splatoon 3, typically most of the new content that we can enjoy can be experienced on the very first day of a new season. And this is definitely true for the fresh season update. Most of the new things like new weapons, specials, maps and more can already be enjoyed and we have been enjoying them for the past few weeks. But there's actually quite a lot of exciting stuff still to come for the fresh season that we can't experience yet. From major in-game events to new features, there is more coming this season which I think you'll want to know about. So let's take a look at what we can still expect to see for the fresh season. For a start, it looks like we will definitely be getting at least one Splatfest event this season, although I'm guessing it'll probably end up being two to go with the pattern of Big Run Splatfest Splatfest. Diam Creeper over on Twitter has shared a new Eel Tail Alley tricolor turf wall layout, so it very much looks like this will be the tricolor stage that we can experience for the next Splatfest. I personally really enjoy Eel Tail Alley, so I'm really excited to play this one on tricolor battles. Of course, whatever this Splatfest ends up being will actually be our very first time playing Splatfest with Inkopolis available in Splatoon 3. So if you happen to have that DLC, you'll be able to chill with Callie and Marie, enjoy some different scenery from the Splatfest we've experienced so far in the game, and of course have some nice different music. I'm really really glad that Splatfest worked properly in Inkopolis, it's going to be nice to have a change of scenery and I can't wait to take part in it. The Splatfest updates and changes don't end there though. There are even more. For example, Nintendo mentions during their patch notes they've changed the amount of XP required to level up a Splatfest T. Splatfest Ts with more gear abilities will no longer require more XP to level up than those with fewer gear abilities, which I definitely think is a nice little change. Also, winners of 10 times battles, etc., will be announced during the Anarchy Splatcast. This announcement will display automatically when in the lobby. It is not related to the timing of stage changes that happen every two hours. So this is definitely a really cool little quality of life update that'll make winning these battles even more worth it. The next Splatfest is certainly going to be a fun one, I absolutely cannot wait. Another major event still due to happen during this season is the Extra Work event which will be for Salmon Run players. This new type of challenge with 5 waves is going to be a really exciting new way of playing Salmon Run. The scoring system feels pretty similar to Big Run so if you played that you should have a fairly decent idea of how this is going to end up going down. Nintendo has yet to confirm when this event will actually take place, but something really exciting they did confirm is that there could actually be up to two of these events in the season, which definitely means this season will be packed full of events more than ever before, which is something I'm honestly so excited about. So I absolutely cannot wait to try out extra work, I just know it's going to be a lot of fun and an interesting new challenge. The end of the season will also be a really exciting time too, as Nintendo confirmed a new feature where you can earn more catalog points than usual during the week before the end of the season thanks to a special closeout bonus. So in a way this is another sort of extra event, similar to the bonus that we get during Big Runs and Splatfests. Personally I think this is a really positive change and I'm sure lots of people are going to be logging on at this point so they can try and complete their catalogs if they haven't been able to already. Usually the last Splatfest of the month is the best time to level up your catalogue if you haven't completed it by that point, but now you'll have an extra opportunity to do so which is really cool in my opinion and I'm definitely happy that's something they've decided to do. Overall we still have so much content to look forward to this fresh season that I cannot wait to see. Definitely let me know down in the comments section below what you're most excited for in the fresh season, I would love to hear what you have to say. If you made it to the end of the video then be sure to comment fresh gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more.